Okay, everybody, I'm back. Today, I see a lot of these uh, 3.6 Pentastar engines from Chrysler with oil leaks. Well, I should say I get a lot of phone calls. A lot of people say, I got a rear main oil leak. Well, it's not the rear main. It is the oil filter housing slash cooler. This thing sits in the middle of the engine at the top in between the heads. It has coolant that goes through it. It has a filter housing made with it. It bolts to the block. These things are known for leaking, and I mean they leak horrible. Every call I've ever had about engine leaks on these particular engines, it's always been the cooler. So I'm going to show you where it's at and kind of how to look for the problem and diagnose it yourself at the house. So you don't have to rely on me to tell you what it is. But, I mean, I don't care to, but a lot of people that they go to the quick lube and they see oil leaking down the back of the engine. And it usually goes right between the transmission and the engine. So everybody's really adamant about my rear mains leaking. Now, I'm not saying it can't leak, but typically it's this oil cooler. And I've done so many of them on Jeeps. This one's on a 2014 Ram. So I see a lot of them. But here's what to look for. Okay, so here's the part. This is the part for Mopar. As you can see, it's got a Mopar sticker on it there. That's the part number. Made in America, which is a good part. Not everything's overseas these days. All right, and here's what it looks like in its full form. Right there. That is what it looks like. All right, now, when you flip it upside down, you'll see the O-rings that leak. Of course, the Mopar part's got both sensors on it. This silver thing at the top is the cooler. That's the cooler. Coolant goes through it, and so does, so does some of the oil. And of course, this is where your cartridge is for your filter. And you gotta torque this thing to torque specs. There's an O-ring. Of course, there's an O-ring on this. Put some Vaseline or white lube, grease or whatever on it. We'll make sure you torque it in the right torque sequence and the right torque spec. And this thing's in inch pounds, so you definitely want to make sure. So. Okay, so I've already pulled the intake off. And I'm going to try to sneak on in there. Here is the cap for the oil filter cartridge. And there's a housing beneath there. It's, it goes to about right here. Okay? It's long. All right. Now, if I can get down inside there with some light, I will show you to look at the base of this cooler. And you can do this with Jeeps. You can do it with these pickup trucks. If you look down in there. Uh, let's see if I can get over here to see it. Hmm. It's going to be a little hard to see it for you guys. Okay, hopefully everybody can see this. I'm, I'm going to look down inside this cavity right down in here. If you can see the oil shining. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to try to get you a better bird's eye view right there, some oil. If you see it, if you see it down there, see it late, right there between the, right there. If you can see that, right there, see? All right, so here you go. And take us off. And you can see the oil. See it back there? See how it's filled up that whole cavity? Look here.
Well, he's even got antifreeze leaking too. Look at the coolant. Trying to get a better view just to give people a bird's eye view of it. Look down the back of the transmission. See how the oil's back there? Look right there. Look right there. That's all oil in the back of the transmission. See it? It's coming from the top. But that's what it looks like, and that's where it's at, right there. Okay, here it is without it on there. Let's look at all the oil that was laying in there. It puddles up, and then it runs out the back. So there you have it. That's the oil cooler. You know, it always leaks. So anytime you have one that leaks quite a bit, in between the engine and transmission it's going to make it look like it's the rear main oil seal but pop your hood take a flashlight look down beside the cap where the oil cartridge goes you should you should be able to see at the at the valley down inside the valley and if you see coolant or even oil you'll see oil probably sooner than coolant but that's where you want to look for that leak most people don't know to look there so be a little wiser than them. Till the next time, I'm just an honest man trying to run an honest business.